All right, so um, what we have discussed, basically, ladies and gentlemen, is we've gone over system W equation, where we talked about graphing systems. We talked about um, graphing systems. And, and before break, we went over substitution, which we're going to kind of go back and review again today. Uh, however, today what we're going to be dealing with is elimination or the addition method. And when looking at the addition method, basically all we're going to be doing is adding or subtracting our equations to eliminate a variable. So there's a couple things that need to happen um, when we apply the addition method. When we are looking into our, the elimination method, when we're looking into the elimination method, basically what we want to do is make sure that our variables are first aligned. That means is x is over x is, y is over y's, and the, the equations are over the equation, or the equal sign is over the equal sign. Notice how everything is aligned here, correct? If it's not aligned, you're going to have to rewrite the equation so they are aligned. Now that it's aligned, to apply elimination or addition method, whatever you want to call it, we need to make sure that our coefficients are exactly the same. So I have 1. Notice how if I just have x and x, you can write those as 1x, right? So 1 times x times 1 times x. So notice that my variables are exactly the same um, in front of the x. And notice that they're also the exact same number in front of my y variable, right? Even though one's positive and one's negative, they're still the same number. So whenever I have the same coefficient, or at least the same number, regardless of their positive or negative, I can apply elimination. And to apply elimination, basically what we're going to do is we are going to add or subtract the two equations. Now, here's where it kind of gets a little bit confusing for this problem compared to the other problems. When you have the same number and they're both positive, you're usually going to typically want to subtract the two equations. When you have the same number, one's positive and one's negative, you're going to want to add the two equations. So what is confusing about this one is, notice, guys, I have, an I have a system that has the same, that are the same size or sign, and then, the same, and then also for the y's, one's positive and one's negative. So what that means is I can add or I can subtract the two equations to solve. So what I'm going to do is I will start off with the easy one, and I'll give you guys the more difficult one to try to um, go through. So let's go and see what happens when I add the two equations. If I'm going to add the two equations, now we just add vertically. x plus x is 2x. 1y minus 1y is going to be 0y equals 4. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, 0 times y is just 0. So I have 2x is equal to 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 2. So now I know that the value of my, uh, the value of my solution uh, for x is 2. To find y, I want to go back to one of my two equations and plug in the value of x. Just like when we did substitution. If you guys remember substitution before the break, this is exactly what we did. So I take 2, I plug it back into one of my equations, which I'll use the top equation. And I get y equals 4. So therefore, my solution, where these two uh, points intersect, is 2 comma 4. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, when I did this example, 